my wife sent $250,000 to a romance scam. It's quite a title, and I assure you, based on the clips that I've seen from this video, it, it, it's worse than you could possibly imagine. Um, for a little backstory, there is an older woman who was basically cheating on her husband in this episode of my husband's not piping me down good enough, so I'm gonna have to outsource that thing. And um, turns out that this person, this handsome fella that she was attracted to and thought that she was actually gonna get to meet up with one day was not real. She was catfish and she subsequently got scammed out of $250,000 of which was not all her own money, was mostly her husband's money, I believe. But you know, she just couldn't resist the temptation. An older lady like this, as you can see in this video right now, seems to have missed the days before she met her husband where six foot four Chad and Tyrone's with nine inch Johnson's were able to break her down like a double barrel shotgun and left her feeling like a paraplegic after they did what they had to do. But yeah, based on what I've seen so far, this older lady is she's into all kinds of freaky stuff. And um, we're going to get into this reaction right about now. Our team traveled down to Indiana to get to know a couple named Brian and Sarah. The two have been married for 22 years and they have stuck by each other's side through it all. Their relationship was put to the test when Brian found out about Sarah's online friend named John. Online friend, huh? <laughs> just, an, just an online friend. <laughs> Sarah claims her intentions were only to be friends. The two messaged each other and started an online relationship. She has sent hundreds of thousands of dollars in hopes to meet this man in person. Honestly, at this age, girl, you shouldn't be lying like this. What do you like, pushing 50? And you're really trying to cap and say you only wanted to be friends with the man that you've sent hundreds of thousands of dollars to? Like, we all know you was trying to buy yourself into the Wrangler gene. And of course, for some reason, you decided to fund this whole little operation with the money that you and your husband were supposed to be using for retirement. Like, what, what the... Stupid. My name is Sarah. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Nah. What the? Tell me she's now here posting like this on dating apps. I'm married, have been for 22 years. My husband is very supportive with all my weird, crazy wackiness. He's very open minded when it comes to that. I'm truly very very lucky that i found the person i did uh, i see so she's out here trying to test her husband's open-mindedness to the point to where she may be thought that he would be okay with her getting bust down by another man that he probably can't compete with i mean hey who knows he may be into that sort of thing i mean for god's sake we already got content creators like destiny and sneeko out here publicly announcing their girlfriends getting piped out by other dudes so who knows maybe this just might be a thing that uh, a lot of guys are trying to get into now it ain't for me but uh, to each their own i am obsessed with penis huh? i have a penis that looks like a tyrannosaurus rex one that looks like a dragon crocheted ones um any costume that i had i would pin penises on it it's just like i was a christmas tree one time and the ornaments were a penis all right so I mom is this bro like you already know she's probably a teacher and if not probably a guidance counselor and if not she probably works in some kind of field or job with kids maybe i don't know but why is she out here taking photos cheesing with literal miniature cocks attached to her shirt somebody please help me out and then in the same photo she has some kind of white liquid substance in her cup that she's drinking like bro how much more freaky can you get i'm just quirky and weird and everything when it comes to that and I don't always stop and think of the consequences to my actions. I just want everybody to sit here and think about what if the roles were reversed and she were a man and came out and professed that he was obsessed with vaginas. Had all kinds of figurines and crochets and action figures and goddamn playing cards filled with just women in vaginas. Like, wouldn't we find that kind of behavior? Predatory. Wouldn't we find that suspicious? I'm just saying. <laughs> Brian supported all of Sarah's hobbies and interests. He even agreed it was okay for Sarah to have friendships with strangers over the internet. <laughs> yeah, that should work out for him. I talk to people online. Um, it's not a new thing. Oh God, please don't tell me that these are the mercy mains that be in my Overwatch lobbies trying to heal everybody. That be trying to pocket a fair who's literally getting no kills on the team, please. I don't think it is wrong for somebody to have relationships of both sexes. Do we let other people in our sex life? No. Would he be open to it if I did? If I wanted that? Probably. What? Just because that's how he is. 
Um, would he do it? I don't think so. Oh, no. Okay. Holy. Okay. So clearly we have a weak husband in the relationship. You're telling me his wife came out on this public video and said that her husband, him that we're seeing right now, would probably be okay with dudes busting her down on a slow Tuesday night and that he would probably accept that. Oh, hell no. But on the flip side, he probably wouldn't be okay with himself having relations with other females outside of his marriage. And this is all coming from his wife of what she believes he would be okay with. Like, clearly this man is starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> Ryan trusted Sarah. He didn't suspect anything when he caught his wife chatting with John through Instagram direct messages. The first message was on Instagram, your normal conversation where it comes to when you're trying to meet some or when you're meeting somebody like your hobbies and all that kind of stuff. Then it just kind of snowballed with, are you married? And I was like, yes, I'm married. And I asked him if he was married. He was not. Oh, hell no. This this grown man messaged your wife saying what you doing are you married and your wife responds back by saying hmm yes are you with a nervous looking emoji like do we not know what the nervous looking emoji means from a girl like she, she want me she want me she want me come on man she already she already wanted him she already wanted him way before this like come on he asked me you know the standard questions of whether i had children or not which i do not wait wait standard questions what do you mean by that i, I thought you were just looking for a friend do potential friends ask if you have kids or if you're married right from the jump i was looking for i guess friendship nothing else stop the cap as time went on i felt that that was not the case even though um i'm married it's still nice to hear that um that people find me attractive so it was nice. john and sarah would talk all through the morning and night the relationship started to become more intimate by the day i thought he was very nice obviously he was um easy on the eyes blue eyes brown hair no beard but sometimes he does have a beard he looks like he probably works out um quite a bit nice like six pack um he does have some tattoos um on ones on his chest and then his arm is tatted up as well but to me he's just a very attractive man all right so i'm gonna just keep it a bean i gotta cut in right here because this is just i'm, I'm tired of listening to this because I, i've seen this just go down way too many times both men and women getting scammed by people who are way above their league let's like let, let's keep it honest let's keep it 100 if you're a fat basement dwelling part-time working at mcdonald's living in his mother's basement and a eight out of ten woman pretty ass smile perfect face teeth hair gorgeous decides to hit you up on ig or facebook or whatever the hell you use out of nowhere and you're literally a carbon copy of a wings of redemption or a boogie 2998 let's keep it a bean it's most likely a scam and you're most likely getting catfish and the same thing goes for this older woman right here this younger looking fella he's clearly an attractive man in great shape bros probably got mad cute chicks trying to get with him why on earth do you think he would specifically be going after you it's even if he was real let's keep it a bean let's keep it all the way honest he's either trying to rob or scam you like how are we still falling for these scams in 2023 say that he loved me that he wanted to take care of me he had feelings for me maybe my actions came across as weak he would use the terms of endearment babe honey love all the time never my name listen for all the girls older women grandmas aunties mothers young women in high school i'm gonna I'm keep it a bean right now i'm gonna save you from a lot of heartbreak right now a guy like this is not gonna be sending you text messages like i'm in love with you i want you to be my queen please just give me a chance like good morning beautiful like come on he doesn't need to do all that trust me i know personally this just baffles me and the fact that she was led on by all this and didn't peep any red flags while being being married to her husband who's been loyal and supportive to her for 22 years it's just crazy john's request for money didn't stop the request seemed like they would never come to an end all sarah wanted to do was meet this man in person so she sent even more money bro are you saying she was this desperate she wanted the d so bad that she started sending more racks on racks on racks to this man just to see him i wonder how her husband feels right because this is just this is the kind of disrespect that you can't come back from this is like disrespect of the highest order i probably sent him money every week to two weeks for probably a good solid um six to eight months I cashed in my a couple life insurances and I cashed in um, my retirement fund um, and I sent him 
100% of the money. Nah. Nah, you can't. No way. No way. This can't. This can't be true. This can't be true. And her husband's just sitting there like, how is this even possible? Am I this much of a failure that instead of just breaking up with me, she would have rather cash out her entire life savings to meet another man? I just, I'm astonished right now. I don't even know what to say. Aside from the fact that her husband must be rethinking his whole entire life right now. Like this man is in deep thought right now, just thinking like, what the fuck? I had a Discover card for um, 15,000. And I sent him that as well. And that's maxed out beyond maxed um, because he would, uh, this is terrible, terrible. Oh, I hate talking about this because this makes me feel stupid. He would pay that and then um, have me withdraw more money once the balance got down where I could um, withdraw some more money. And then that payment would bounce. John had all of Sarah's personal information, emails, passwords, debit and credit card pin numbers too. When we looked over her discovery credit card transactions, we could see when John was making the payments. He would take cash advances and then pay the card off. This built trust with Sarah and also made her believe that he was real. The problem was all of the payments that he made ended up getting returned. Over time, Sarah was left with a $15,000 credit debt. He has my social security, he has my driver's license, he has my full name. He knows who my parents' names are. He knows my sister's name. He could destroy me, for sure. Once again, I just, I don't know what to say. How do you even get to the point to where you meet a guy online and you you just give him access and information to your, your whole life? I know I often make the joke about giving people your social security and ID and credit card numbers over the internet because I quite literally didn't think that it actually happened like that. It's, 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 it's supposed to be a meme. But here we are watching this lady and she actually did that. She actually gave a man she doesn't know. She probably has never talked to over the phone, probably never FaceTimed ever access to accounts with hundreds of thousands of dollars. How down bad can you be? It's been going on for a few years. Walk us through like, you know, what's been going on? I just see it as it's just another day. <laughs> it's, it's just more of the usual. So up until this point, you you still don't know the full story or the details? Yeah, I, I don't know anything about John. I didn't even know his name until the other day. The only thing she really told me is that she was scammed out of about $60,000 and it was all investments that she lost. There may have been losses more than 60000 Okay. I'm just being honest with you. Right. Yeah, yeah that's fine. The, the only thing I wanted to do when she told me was um, I just wanted to support her any way I could because I knew she was in a really bad place. See, it's guys like this who are a part of the problem. How are you not going to hold your wife accountable when she's clearly in the wrong? You wanted to support her and comfort her because you knew she was in a bad place, bro? Bitch, she was not in a bad place. She was actually in a good place based on how she was feeling. Like she was feeling excited to one day meet the guy. You're just coping with the fact that your wife cheated on you and the person she was cheating with the whole time wasn't even a real person but a scammer using somebody else's identity i mean honestly i don't even really want to watch the rest of this video because this is just sad and pathetic to me like, i'm not even trying to be disrespectful but it's just guys like this who won't grow up here who let people walk all over them no self-respect whatsoever and they're just like a doormat for people like why do you allow this bro gain some confidence actually have a serious conversation with your wife and tell her that she was in the wrong she knows she was in the wrong but she's waiting for you to grow a pair and tell it to her face it's just kind of crazy to me, but I'm gonna leave it at that. I already, I've already seen enough of what I had to see. And yeah, if you guys have any other video topics or stories you want me to cover, be sure to head on over to my Twitter, Instagram, and send me a DM, or you can join our community Discord server, Mori Gang, down below and submit your topic or story to the Mori Reacts channel. But yeah, with that being said, thank you for watching and everybody. Until next time, stay safe out there.